defender. A big moment for this young man on the right of screen. Rory Burns making uh, his test debut today, along with Ben Folkes, his Surrey teammate. Of course, this for England is the first test match post Alistair Cook's retirement. So a relatively inexperienced combination. Jennings has played a bit. Burns making his debut. He's got a, a terrific domestic record. For Surrey in England, he's been a, a consistent run scorer over the last four or five years. But uh, this test of a different magnitude. The conditions, that's what you have to consider. So different to playing back in England, even Keaton Jennings, 13 test matches. But hardly any in the subcontinent. About to face his first ball in test cricket. Just a hint of movement. Well, that's where Rory Burns is very strong. He is uh, a very good player through the onside. And uh, Saranga Lakmal has just given him a nice one on middle and leg to get his test match career underway. Nice and relaxed. It's very easy to snatch at it and go hard. That's beaten Harath, who uh, will feel that he should have done better and stopped the ball. It, it seemed to just bobble over his dive. Down the leg side and given. Swing from Lakmal. Burns looking to touch it away on the leg side, but can only feather it through to the keeper. And his first test innings is a brief one. Was looking good. And even here, not the type of dismissal Suranga Lakmal was looking for. Did he play it well enough? Now you'd have to say that it was a nick. I was just wondering whether he had played it so well that it was off the face of the bat. Rory Burns. He's gone for nine. It's ten for one. Now, and that brings Moen Ali to the crease, who helped England out, really, at the back end of the summer by uh, going up to number three when Joe Root, the captain, moved down to four. He's retained that place. Although I think in the build-up to this... First test match, England had designs on Joe Denley, but a late change of heart. Oh, he's gone, what a delivery, and what a plan. Round the wicket, first ball, Saranga Lakmal, and he has sent Moen Ali's off stump flying. Out to some brilliant bowling, it's more the plan, he's actually played the wrong line. He's gone wide of the crease, angled it into the left-hander. Big blow. Oinali without scoring. England are two down for ten. Joe Root in. That's a, a good shot, but a good length. Uh, if I was Saranga Lakmal, I wouldn't be too concerned seeing that. You want to get Root pushing and driving early on in his innings. Lakmal had him in all sorts. He had to play over his pad. said Jennings is a very competent sweeper and reverse sweeper of the ball Dinesh Chandimal might just think about trying to cut the sweeps both sides of the wicket off for Jennings and make him play with a straighter bat down the ground drive square he tried that in the previous over and got a thick edge for a couple down to third man but this one right out of the middle of the bat this is a brilliant shot Lovely from Joe Root. He is such a, a sweet and rhythmical driver of the ball. Well, we knew it was coming, the fuller one. He went wider. But he's not bowling to anyone. He's bowling to a high-class batsman. Good shot. That is a very effective shot against spin. Good use of the feet. This is a good way of taking on the spinners. Look at this. Down the wicket. Now, what he did well was he hit with the turn. Now, that they're asking the question. 
<laughs> Look at Dick Waller. I wish we could show his his appeal. Well, he's way outside the line of off stump playing a shot. But hey, Erasmus is the umpire, totally unmoved. They're thinking about it. Seconds. Oh, review. I wouldn't. Pitching outside off, impact outside off. Uh, Mare, you can stay with your original decision of not out. Yes, you're on screen now. Make the signal. Oh! That was a clear edge. Well, went off the glove, I think, of the wicket keeper. The 50 is up for England. 52 for two. Forcing edge. It would have been a terrific catch. Ah! Oh, now they're asking again, Dick Weller. <laughs> well, he wants to review it. He wants to review it. Take it forward, take it forward, take it forward. Okay, flat line as the ball uh, passes the bat and glove. Um, I'm going back to the on-field umpire. There's a flat line, nothing on uh, ultra edge. You can stay with your original decision of not out. Yes, you're on screen now, make the signal. Well, both reviews gone. Hit hard and placed nicely. Jennings was quickly into position. 50 partnership from just 66 deliveries. England looking to be positive. Turning to leg and dropped. It's Angelo Matthews who's got his head in his hands. He cannot believe he's put that down. He was expecting that to work away onto the leg side. It's come straight at him off the top edge. Gone, he's yorked himself. Root looking to take the positive option coming down the pitch. He's simply run past it, really. Yeah, it's an odd dismissal. It does give now Rangana Harath 100 wickets on this, his favourite ground. Floated it up just outside off stump Root, looking to be positive, but has yorked himself. A skip down the pitch, looking to drive Harath through the offside, but ended up simply yorking himself. A hundredth wicket here at goal in test matches for Rangana Harath. And what a big one it is, that of the England captain, Joe Root. Gone for 35, England 72 for three. Fireworks being let off at the ground here in Gaul, not for the arrival of Ben Stokes, who replaces his captain. Nicely placed. Jennings picks up his fifth boundary. Powerfully hit, wrong line from Harath. Really, the, the theme of the morning, England not going to let these spinners settle if they can. Jennings cuts away to the fence and picks the length well here, actually. That will probably run away for four. Jennings is into the 40s with his seventh boundary. That's the fourth one. The bowling change works for Dinesh Chandimal. Keaton Jennings, who was looking so, so good. Just a good length delivery. Good change from Chandimal. Bringing Pereira on because we've seen a killer at the, uh, the overs before getting a lot of turn. Keaton Jennings, 46. 98 for four England. Josh Butler. Batsman 10 50s and 100, the best of 106. Alanda! In the air for a bit. And he's found the gap. That brings up the 100 for England. They're 103 for four. Alanda! Got him this time. He's gone a long way across. Four option from Ben Stokes. He's paid the price for just going too far across his stumps. Any spinner would love to see a batsman playing a shot like that. 
My second spell, he's picked up a couple, two big wickets this time. It's Ben Stokes for seven. Benjamin Thomas Folks making his debut. He's out there a lot earlier than he would have expected. First class average of 40.64. That's a very useful average. He's outside the line. What a nice shot that is from Joss Butler off the back foot. Punched away through extra cover. A lot of rain, but the outfield is fast enough. Decent work. Pulled away for his first boundary in Test match cricket, and he's done it in style. Exceptionally good shot, picked the length from Lackwell very quickly. Go on. Chance of a caught and bowled, but Butler timed it fairly nicely. Umpire Gaffney was in the firing line, straight as an arrow. Full face of the bat, dead straight. That's another variation, but one this time that has been driven sweetly by Ben Folks, just to the to the left of Ranganar Harath at mid-off. Despite the overnight rain, outfield is still reasonably quick. And he wouldn't be there for that delivery. He'd be probably cowering for cover when he saw that one coming down. Poor delivery, short, down the leg side, put away. Folks is looking OK now. He looks settled. That's his third boundary. He moves to 26. This is top stuff from England. Great counter fight back. Oh, it's right on the point of drinks. What a moment that is today. Josh Butler was looking good. And right on drinks after a very good hour after lunch. Quicker again from Dilruan. Butler caught on the back foot. Again, the change in pace, doing the trick. Got to be said, outstanding from the Queller to pick that one up. Butler 38, England 164 for six. Over the top. How far has it gone? It has gone far enough. It's the first six of the match. Well, they're, they're happy. It's a big crowd. This is Curran. Straight out the middle of the bat. It was tossed up. Go on, have a drive at that. Well, he did, and he took the aerial route. Head down, bang. That's a very delicate shot indeed. Just waiting for the ball and then using the pace, running it down. Clever cricket by Folks. Finally, finally for Folks. He's the seventh wicket keeper to score 50 in his first innings on test debut for England. It's going to have come at a better time for them because they were struggling at one stage. But it's a real positive headache for England. Too short. Far too short. Two fielders on the boundary, but there was a yawning gap at that length. That's asking for trouble. It was just patience from folks just waiting for the loose ball and when it does come he puts it away good use of the feet my goodness that is a very good shot it's gone all the way for six brings up the 50 partnership and the Karan gets the second six of the match and his second six the good thing about this shot he's used his feet he's got the pitch of the delivery and he's hit with the spin Sweet shot down the ground, hasn't gone for six, but that is a very, very well-controlled shot. Forces the bowler to drag down. Excellent from Sam Curran, the aggression down the ground, now a pull for six, that's his third of his innings of 41. Patience is key, even as a bowler. 
That time, that's the wicket they wanted, but Chandimala, I'm afraid, is struggling. He's taken the catch, he's gone to slip, but straight away you could see that he started to limp, but Sri Lanka wanted this wicket badly. Yeah, disappointment for Sam Curran, who played so well. He, he's trying to hit that with a flat bat. He's trying to hit that square through point with a flat bat, which is a fair enough shot to a ball that wide. But uh, can only edge it through to Chandimal, who took it along with a grimace because he's struggling with his groin. But a big wicket, huge wicket for Sri Lanka. Down the wicket he comes. We were talking about the wrists. And that was strong wrists. Whipping it. Adil Rashid stroke this one because he's looking to be aggressive and to score and the way that he flips it or whips it with his wrists through the onside driven long half volley look at this last shot full length in fact over pitched this is high will it be taken it's gone over the line Good effort, but it's gone over the line. Dananjay did get his hands, but I think by that time it had gone over. It was off a top edge, but in the end, quite safe. Well, not a bad bouncer. You don't get so many of them here in goal on this slow pitch, and it perhaps just surprised Rashid for pace, and Dananjay has got the problem here. He knows that it's uh, the chance of a catch, but he's already stepped over the rope by the time that he gets his hands on the ball. Slept away, and it's a, a ball boy's job. I wonder if he start thinking about England spectators, Will, thinking about a century. Drag over this side. Or a sheet. Using his feet, not quite getting to the pitch of the ball, but there's limited bounce, so he's worked out what type of bounce this pitch is offering. So I'm going to take it over mid wicket. Very risky shot. Flighty delivery. Rashid on the charge. Rashid, his second six of the innings. He's not too concerned about folks getting to his hundred. He's going <laughs> to. Take the attack on his own here. Well, relief for Sri Lanka. An enterprising innings. And smiles on the fielders. It's one of those straight in the bread basket. Rashid looking for a big shot again, nicks it straight to slip. It's a good piece of bowling from Pereira coming around the wicket, getting the old one to turn back into the batsman, and he's looking to feed the slips with that straighter one, as we just saw there. It's a good innings from Rashid. Helping England get over that 300 mark. 35 of his 38 deliveries. England are 306 for eight. Well, he's given the slip some opportunities throughout this uh, last couple of overs. I must admit there was a hard chance the over before, but that was a sharp chance as well. And Leach has got through the evening unscathed. Well, it's topsy-turvy cricket, is this? This partnership is 15. Leach, at number 10, has got 14 of them. Eventually, England would say that's a satisfactory day, 321 for eight. At one stage, they were 103 for five. A wonderful debut for Ben Folks. He's still there.